Hey everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week, we're working on wheels. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. So this week, we are working on the wheels for the 75 Rabbit. It's a little bit out of order, I know, but um, I've already got the car up in the air and it just inspired me to work on wheels since I pulled the wheels that were on it, I pulled them off. So that's what I'm gonna work on this week. Um, I've got the two-piece uh, American Racing 301, I think. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, I've already got the tools out. I already pulled one of the wheels apart just to kind of take a look at it and get a kind of a mind for how it comes apart. So I'm gonna grab a wheel and put it on the workbench and start pulling it apart. Okay, everyone. So I am back now in the garage from, uh, I took all the centers uh, to a place to have them stripped because sanding down all those little nooks and crannies and everything would have taken forever. And the much better way to get things done in a hurry sometimes is to have someone else do it. So they're currently being stripped and we're gonna pick those up in a couple of days and they should be ready to be like scuffed and painted or whatever I'm gonna do with them at that point. I still haven't decided. In the meantime, I got a lot of work to do on these barrels and the lips. And um, you can see here by looking at this wheel, the inside is pretty dirty. It's um, a lot of years of neglect. And, uh, and then the outers obviously need to be sanded down and polished. So. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sit out in the driveway and <laughs> with a bucket of water and some sandpaper and just go through and sand everything down. I already started on one of them. And uh, you can see here, they clean up pretty decent on the back side, but this is all old brake dust and everything that's just caked on here after years of never being clean. So that's why you clean the insides of your wheels too. Um, and uh, I don't want to show you the outside yet because there's a, a little section of it that actually looks pretty good. So, so that is going to be today's project is getting at least the back sides of these wheels stripped down and looking a little bit better. And uh, then sanding out the, the fronts and uh, maybe I'll get to polish a little bit today. But most likely it's just going to be a day of, of wet sanding. So that's it. <laughs> Okay, so this process is taking a really long time, and I want you to see kind of where I'm starting with, which is, well, you can see, that's all brake dust. That's not dirt or anything like that. It's all brake dust. I'm actually having to sand these off. I'm using like a 320 grit to sand this brake dust off. So it is taking a really long time, but we're gonna speed things up and go from this to this in just a couple of hours. <laughs> So after some, some work with some 400 paper and I used some uh, Griot's wheel cleaner to kind of lubricate the sandpaper and make it last longer and to kind of help break up all the brake dust, um, these things came out much, much better than when they started. Um, I'd still like to have the insides of these wheels a little bit cleaner, but uh, this is a really good starting point for all the things that we're going to do with these wheels. So. There's still a lot of refinishing that I have to do, but um, this is a really good start to getting these wheels all cleaned up. So I'm running out of time for today. So tomorrow um, I will most likely work on the faces a little bit. Um, hopefully it stays nice out because it's really easy to do all the wet sanding in the driveway and I can just hose the driveway down instead of doing it with a cup uh, inside and a, a cup of water and some towels to clean up the, the residue. So uh, keep my fingers crossed that it stays dry tomorrow and uh, then I'll start working on the outsides of these wheels and uh, pretty soon we're gonna have a really nice set of wheels to put on the 75 Rabbit. 
Hey everybody, we are back in the garage and we are still working on the wheels. Uh, I just got back a little while ago from checking out the centers. I had the centers, uh, I had the centers media blasted. So those are actually cleaned up and I'll put a picture in right here. So those are looking really good. And uh, now they're on their way to powder coat. Uh, I'm still working on the, uh, the rims uh, or the, uh, the lips and the barrels are pretty much cleaned up. Um, so I'm trying an old trick that I remembered from years ago. Um, I believe that the curl or the finish on here has an anodizing on it. So I'm using some oven cleaner, um, just some easy off oven cleaner. And I'm going to have to go to the store and buy more cause I just used up the last of what we had. Um, but if you spray it on there, let it sit for about 10 minutes. Um, takes the anodizing right off as opposed to having the sand through it because aircraft cleaner doesn't work. So here they are just kind of chilling on the workbench. Um, you can see, let me find one of these other ones here that's... So you can see by the looks of them there's a lot of hazing and stuff in the in the finish and uh, so in order to polish those out they've all got to be they've all got to be cleaned up and stripped down but once you work on them for a while it can actually turn out pretty good so you can see here i've just been working on sanding these and uh, i've still got some more sanding to do but they're actually coming turning out really good so i think these wheels are going to look awesome i've also found my center caps, so I gotta work on these. Um, I've got two more center caps coming in the mail, so hopefully I'll have a nice set of four with a couple, actually have a couple of backups. So that's what we're working on today. Let's see how far we get with the time I have. All right, so I went out and just wiped these down with some water just to neutralize the oven cleaner. And now you can see we have a nice clean finish to start with. Shouldn't have to sand through all of the uh, of, of the anodized coating on here. So that's the next step is just to start working my way up through the grits. Uh, I'm going to start with like an 800 uh, since this is a pretty smooth finish already. And uh, we'll see where that gets us. So the first step was going through the whole wheel or the whole lip with 800 grit. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. Um, now, if we were to go and put a little bit of polish on here, it would, it would shine up and actually look pretty nice. I can actually do, I'll just do a little quick spot on here to show you guys what it polishes up like with some 800 grit. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go through each level of poly, or level of paper um, at least till I run out of grit. So, um, and uh, so you guys can see the difference in how it looks as you go through the different steps. And maybe you only want to go to a certain level of polish, which is fine. It, there's nothing that says you have to go to a certain level. Um, but just understand it as a, you know, each, each level of polish is a whole nother level of work. So, um, So there we go. So I polished up a, let's see if I can show it to you here. That is with 800 grit and polish. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any kind of reflection on there, but it's a, it's a pretty dull reflection at 800 grit. It's, it's shiny, but it's, it's not anywhere near reflective. So the next step will be a thousand grit. So, I'll go through the whole uh, lip with thousand grit. And uh, then we'll uh, then we'll grab the polish again and uh, take a look and see where we get with a thousand grit. All right, so uh, I'm done with the. 1000 grit and you can see here 
we're starting to get a pretty good shine on this. Uh, I went and grabbed some 1500 and some 2000. Uh, so the next step is to do some 1500 and we're going to see how that looks. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it looks pretty good at a thousand, but let's keep going and see what kind of improvement we can get at uh, from an extra 500 grit. So that was 1500 and I went over the whole wheel with 1500 and then uh, polished out a section of it. Um, so you saw I grabbed my just my my hand polish here and I used that and then I also used a polishing wheel on my drill um, and I kind of wanted to show you the guys the difference. So first I'll show you what the 1500 marks look like so you can kind of see. So there's still like you can see the 1500 grit still does leave some little scratches in it. Now before I show you the polish section I want to tell you guys you can go down the rabbit hole so deep refinishing these we refinishing wheels and just in general so um, like polishing things and and detailing um, I would never intended these wheels to be 100% perfect. There's going to be scuffs, there's going to be scratches, there's going to be dings. I kind of wanted to keep a little bit of the patina on these wheels because there's going to be a little bit of patina on the car too. So um, the wheels are not, you're going to see as I'm going through this process on all these wheels, there's going to be some little scrapes, there's going to be some little dings and, and stuff that I'm not going to take out. Um, A, because I don't have that kind of time. Um, if I was paying to have them professionally done, I would absolutely want that stuff taken care of 100%. But I'm doing these at home, and they're a $300 wheel. <laughs> if, I wanted, if I wanted to have perfect wheels, I would have started with perfect wheels. So um, if you have a three-piece wheel, you can buy a new lip and just have a new lip to start with. But I don't have that option with a two-piece. So here we go with the section that's polished. And this is 1500 grit. So over here is a hand polish. Through the center, I did with the polishing wheel. And then over here, again, I did with a hand polish. So I did a little bit on either side. All right, so I just grabbed something real quick in the shop here. It's just a new package of box knife blades that I have. So you guys can see the reflectivity because there's so many compound angles through here that it's really hard to get so you can see there it's a little bit of hazing in the polish and you come down here and it seems to be a little bit clearer with the with the where I polished it with the machine and it might just be lighting too but you can see it's a really nice reflective finish but because of the shape there's actually like if you look at here like right here it comes it has an angle that comes out from the inner lip and then it angles back in towards the lip and then we have a little there's a little ridge through here and then we curve around to act the, the outside lip so you can see down here and I can put the no <laughs> getting really difficult to get there we go so there you can see some reflectivity so it's actually as long as I don't roll it off the table it's actually got a really nice finish on it so 1500 is going to look really nice um, I'm kind of running out of time for today uh, so uh, I will go uh, I've got 2000 grit and I've got some 2500 um, but I will do a 2500 or sorry, <laughs> I will go up to 2000 and go through the process again, just so you guys can see how it looks uh, with 2000 grit and then uh, a polish on 2000 grit. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of time for this week if I'm gonna get this episode up in time. So that's all you get to see for now. Uh, next episode, the centers will be back. Hopefully I have bolts in time. Um, I'm going to order new bolts tonight before I go out to dinner with family. Um, and 
hopefully I will have all four of these rims uh, cleaned up and ready to go. So that is the goal for next episode is to get all four of these wheels assembled. Um, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait till I can afford some tires, but um, hopefully soon. So I got some things in the works that hopefully I can, I can spend some money on tires without feeling guilty. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, get out there and work on something.